to be thankful to happy Thanksgiving to all my family, man. This Love my family. Happy that Johnson shit is real, yeah, man. Yes, sir. Now, before I take a shot, I always have to do a mental break because I hate alcohol. Fuck them jokes. Mr. Lightskin, the bitch ass. Look, this your cat. Don't do it. All right, Turkey's for us. Hey, I'm trying to turn you for us. Okay, so fam, man. Yeah. Esau G. Get down. Get Put on some hey. of that blood shit, girl. What if y'all need to follow us? Uh-huh. So, I'm just arriving in Denver, Colorado, my hometown. Say hi, you guys. Hi. 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 <laughs> Not to introduce yourself. Oh, hi, my name is Kendall. My name is Kendall. I'm Kenneth. I'm Kevon. These are my brothers. He's, he yeah. wants to do YouTube too one day. I'm gonna talk to you like that. Okay. I know you got the same socks on with that same shirt. You lied. She told you. You gonna let her talk to you like that? I have this cool, big little brother named Kendall. He's like six. How tall are you? Two. He's 6'2", but how old are you though? He's 13. He's 13. Right? Wait, time I read it down. Have y'all ever heard of the F it up challenge? Excuse me, my French. But let me tell you, when you dance that dance, you will have the best time of your life. Like, seriously. Now, mine is the rated G version. But the F it up challenge was an epic fail. I suck at it, but I challenge you all to do it. So me and Jasmine are in the bottle now. We found like the craziest sale. Look at this. Five for five. Little Mac though. Wait, wait, I don't have to get this out of mascara and pigment. So if you need some stuff for your eyes, honey, go to the Macy's. Five for five only. So me and my sister are out here in Express trying to find something to wear for Thanksgiving and they're having a major sale, everything 50% off. So I'm trying to find me some pants because I'm going for this real chill vibe, you feel me? I'm not really finding nothing in my size, you know. I'm slim thick so I wear 14. But yeah, this is the first time I ever vlog in public and I think it's kind of weird. So excuse me. Let me go in here real quick, Jasmine. I got to see if that's it. There's a store that this cute set. I have to show you guys the set. It's so pretty. It's cute. Like it's like a set with like pants. I really want it, but I can't find it. Y'all, so it's the day after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was so crazy and so much fun that I didn't really get to vlog it. But if you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen the madness. I will post a lot of pictures on Facebook, Instagram. But yeah, it was lit. I'm about to go pick up my mom right now. Hey guys, I just had to come on here because I had to stop vlogging because I came to Colorado just to see my grandmother. Um, and to spend Thanksgiving with my dad's side of the family. But, you know, I went to the hospital and I found out some really unfortunate things that happened with my grandmother. And this morning, she did pass away. Now, I am very sad, as you guys know. Um, I love my grandmother very much. Very, very much. Um, but she was in a lot of pain. She had experienced multiple surgeries and all the prodding and pricking at her and just being in the hospital and being weak. You know, she did, you know, pass away today. Um, I'm still kind of in shock about it because, you know, you never think about your life without your grandparents. I know I don't. However, it, it is real and it is happening 
to me and it's really showing me that I do have to be strong especially for my family and my mom because she loves my mom her grandma her mom dearly she loves her adores her took care of her um in these recent years she's also been really close with us my grandmother has always had a strong relationship with her children her grandchildren as well she was the most sweetest the greatest um person i've ever met she was a lady she was elegant she was never crazy or out of line she really was the true definition of a woman a wife and a grandmother somebody who i will miss a lot but like i said she was in a lot lot of pain and you know she was able to wait on me my sister and my mom to get there before she you know passed on um so yeah, I'm just really asking that you guys, if you have grandparents, if you have parents that you don't necessarily speak to, if you know people in your life that you know you know you need to go check on, I would definitely go and check on them because you never know. You never, never, never know. I never imagined that this Thanksgiving I would be um a part of a funeral for my grandmother I never anticipated that and I just want to say all I say all this to say go visit your family members go visit your family go visit your grandparents they really really want to see you um spend a little time with them tell them you love them um and I promise you it'll be the one of the most rewarding experience you'll have I know I do, especially because knowing that I did speak to my grandmother, tell her how much I love her. She always gave me the strongest hugs. Um, I'll never forget that. And I know that she's going to be my guardian angel at this point. I know that she's going to watch over all of us. I know she'll always be my voice of reason, my person I can talk to. And that's always great to have. And I don't want to get emotional because I feel like she doesn't want me to get emotional she wants me to be strong like she was um so yeah i just wanted to come on here and address that just because i immediately stopped what i was doing and really went to support my grandmother and my mother because my mom's going through it so i'm asking you guys just to pray for my family just as much as i'm praying for yours and i'll see you in the next clip love you guys